welcome to this tutorial in how to do an overall time plan. An overall time plan is a overall plan that shows the different phases, for instance the design phases, the tender phases, and the construction period, and then the handover, and then later in the commission. We're going to be starting by opening up our project and we're going to be creating a new project. I'm going to be using a blank project and uh, once I'm in here the first thing I want to do is I want to save my project. So I'm going to go up here press save or press control S. I'm just going to save it on my computer. I'm going to place it on my desktop. I'm going to be giving it the name uh, according to BIPS and uh, the ID that we're using is BK for building constructor, I for international, uh, I'm not in no group so I'm going to be at zero, S for spring, 15 for the year 2015. Who's doing it? The architect. And it's a time plan, so it's a C12.2. And uh, it's the first, so N01, the first of the series. I'm going to press save. And then I'm ready to start making the modifications. And uh, the first thing you should be aware of is the options. So start by going up in file under options and then start with the first one general. Under general you want uh, it's it's up to your own or it's your own choice but I usually choose it with the Gantt with the timeline. That's the one I have up here so I can see uh, where I'm at in the total time frame. And then the date format. The date format I would uh, recommend that you choose this one. Uh, don't have with too much data in it because it'd be filling up in your uh, columns uh, in a little while. So use the basic one. Your username, uh, I can type in my name. Your initials, again, which background, which theme, I don't care. Choose what you like to. Then we're going to go down to the schedule. Under schedule, I like my week starts on Monday. The first uh, month of the year is January. I start working at 8 and I do not leave at 5 o'clock. So I'm going to be leaving at 4 o'clock. I work 8 hours per day. That equals 40 hours per week. And there's approximately 20 hours per month. Down here, under scheduling options for this project, I don't want new tasks created as manually scheduled. I want them actually placed on, or when they add it, I want them as auto. Uh, this option I just did right here, actually I could change it down here too. But again, auto schedule tasks are scheduled for project start date. The duration is ended, uh, entered in days, work is entered in hours, and default task types are entered in fixed units. Not fixed duration, not fixed work, fixed units. Under schedule alerts options, I like the show task schedule warnings. Uh, I want it to calculate the project after each edit. I want it to update task status updates, uh, resource status. And uh, inserted projects are calculated calculated like summary or a task. Uh, actual cost is always calculated by project. Once you did those options I want you to go down to the one that's called um, let me see advanced. Under advanced we have some options and uh, I want you to go all the way down to the bottom. Under calculation options for this project I want you to wing this one off move end of complete part after state to state back to state to state and 
what this does is it allows you to start the assignment earlier but instead of it just coming in a row it will actually just move the rest of the assignment until it's actually supposed to be finished so it won't come in a like in one process but you'll be able to divide the task and the same thing with this one move start of remaining parts before state of states for to state of state activate these two and move end of completed part for to state of state once you've done this you can press OK and you're actually ready to start uh, changing some of the other project settings.